When you want to add notes or call attention to certain information chart, you can add text annotations and graphics. In this lesson, you learn to type text in a text box, draw an arrow on a chart, and modify a drawn object. Here's the chart we've been working on. Here in the Germany category, we want to call attention to the sharp decrease in expenses in quarter two. So we're going to add a text annotation and an arrow to this information. An annotation is a label that further describes or clarifies your data. When we're finished, the chart will look like this. Here's the annotation, and here's the arrow. Let's get started. In step one, with the chart still selected, up on the Chart Tools Format tab, in the Insert Shapes group, I'll click the text box button. With this tool selected, I'll move the pointer over the worksheet. Notice that the pointer changes to indicate that we can simply click somewhere to begin typing. Also notice that the status bar reads, click and drag to insert a text box. In step two, I'll click somewhere to the right of the chart. And there's our text box, with a blinking insertion point and sizing handles around it. You can also click inside the chart to create a text box, but it's easier to see what we're doing if we work over here. Before we start typing, I want you to notice that the chart is no longer selected. And instead of actual chart tools tabs, we see the drawing tools format tab. That's because the text box is now the selected object. In step three, I'll type great improvement. Now we can move this text box onto the chart. In step four, I'll point to an edge of the text box so that I can see the move pointer. Then I'll drag it onto the chart, just to the left of the chart title. In step five, I'll click the chart to select it. And when the contextual chart tools tabs appear, I'll click the chart tools format tab. In the insert shapes group, I'll click the arrow button. Then I'll move the pointer over the chart. It becomes a crosshair pointer and the status bar now displays click and drag to insert an auto shape. And these handles appear on the text box. We can use these as anchors to position the arrow. In step six, I'll click the right handle, then I'll drag the line to the quarter two column for Germany. Now let's thicken that arrow up. In step seven, in the shape styles group, I'll click the Shape Outline List arrow. I'll click the Automatic Color. I'll click the Shape Outline List arrow again. I'll point to Weight. Then I'll click one and a half points. In step eight, I'll save my work. To try these steps yourself and to see some additional tips and to learn how to add pre-designed SmartArt graphics to a worksheet, Turn to page Excel 92 in your book.